Hey everybody, welcome back to the Star Wars Headquarters. I hope you're all doing well. We've got a lot of stuff to talk about in this video, including the fact that DICE is continuing playtesting of the new large-scale game mode, which of course is planned for February. And this mode will allow us to, you know, capture command posts and then also take down capital ships. So we're going to talk about that. And then we're going to talk about when you can expect armored clone officers to release into Battlefront 2, and then when you can expect the lightsaber combat updates. And then also, we're going to talk about how DICE and EA are expanding their community management team to prepare for upcoming Star Wars games. So this is very exciting stuff here. So let's dive into the news here, guys. We're going to start off with the community manager's post on Twitter. And don't forget to subscribe to us here and uh, follow us for all news and everything. So let's jump to that post right now on Twitter. So uh, the community manager posted this, said a bit of talk as of late around the new game mode coming to Star Wars Battlefront 2. We'll be talking more in the coming weeks, but just to let you know that play tests are going well, it's good fun. Looking forward to its release. But we're still to decide upon a name for it. So that's the question. What would you guys call the new large-scale game mode? So we already know that you'll be able to capture command posts and then, of course, take down capital ships. And then also you'll be able to enter the interior of these capital ships as well. So with all that in mind, what would you call this new large-scale game mode? And if you think about it, it's pretty tough to come up with a name, but uh, hopefully I personally want to see it involve you know, the word conquest in there or something like that, but we'll see what DICE comes up with. But again, I'm kind of curious to see what you guys think. But, uh, you know, with that said, I'm very excited to see that playtests are going well, that they're continuing to do playtests. We already reported that earlier on, that they were doing playtests uh, earlier on. And, uh, you know, it's exciting again to see that they're having fun with this game mode. And moving forward, I do believe that this, mo this game mode has the potential to really set Battlefront 2 up for the year 2019 in a very positive way and then hopefully we get new maps in the future based on this new game mode maps like Coruscant, Utapau, Mustafar and so on so we'll see what happens but guys I'm excited and uh, we'll keep you updated once we find out more news in the coming weeks about this new game mode now we're going to talk about something really interesting here it looks like DICE is actually considering new reinforcements so this was posted on Twitter Brad asked, and Ewoks as reinforcements on Endor, right? And the community manager responded and said, we've had a couple of conversations this week on this. Not as straightforward as just pushing the button to make them available. Now uh, on Reddit, Total FPS, who is also a developer at DICE said, 50 bonus, po bonus points uh, or battle points each for Ewok reinforcements. So everyone is pulled toward towards using them ewok madness yes please so they are in discussion about adding ewoks as reinforcements to battlefront 2 my guess is of course they're going to be limited to indoor uh, if and uh, if or when they are added to battlefront 2 but you know hopefully they are lower priced uh when or if they add them to battlefront 2 because that would be so cool to see Ewok reinforcements running around on indoor in Galactic Assault Mode. And then hopefully they also consider adding indoor to the new large-scale game mode as well in the future. Now this is some big news here. Uh, they are expanding the community management team over at EA for Star Wars specifically. So uh, the community manager posted this. He said, everyone say hello there to Jay who has recently joined my Star Wars team. And then uh, this was posted by Jay on Reddit. said, Forge and I work together on all current and, get this, future EA Star Wars titles. So it looks like they are preparing for the future and uh, preparing for that workload that the community team is going to have when Jedi Fallen Order releases, the upcoming uh, open world Star Wars games releases, and then also when uh you know all of the dlc for battlefront 2 releases throughout this year and then on top of that jay specified what he will be doing for uh the ea team he said i have a lot of similar responsibilities as forge and to you you'll mostly be seeing us 
do the same kind of things, talking with you, gathering feedback, community transmissions, and more. Now, another interesting note is that I believe Jay is located in Canada. And of course, this is where Motive Studios is located, who is working on the open world Star Wars game. So again, this is very exciting news that DICE is expanding their community team. It shows us that they are preparing for the future of Star Wars games. So hit that like button if you are excited and hopeful for the future of Star Wars games. I'm really excited for Jedi Fallen Order. And then, of course, for that open world Star Wars games that's kind of just lingering in the background. And I hope we get to see at least a tease or something about that at uh, EA Play or Star Wars Celebration. So we'll see about that. Now, also, let's talk about this here. So uh, with Armored Officers, this was posted recently and it says February will be where we talk about trooper customization, lightsaber changes, the emote wheel, and more. And then uh, Forge kind of specified on this and said the CT will talk about the changes we're making to clone troopers and then officers getting armor is going to be a part of this upcoming community transmission. And then to add even more to that, uh, this person, Bakara, asked, does this mean our Legion colors will be fixed this month or are we waiting until February? And then the community manager responded and said, we'll be over to February to be a part of the trooper changes we're making to their armor. It's a big change already and having to yo-yo back and forth isn't great. Is better it gets done all in one go. Would have loved to have it all come in January, but still a few things to get sorted. Have to factor in changes such as how we refund players who have already purchased the armor ETC. So it looks like they are preparing for some other changes for the clone trooper armor as well. Now, uh, Dual Mist asks, are other factions getting armor as well? And uh, Ben responds and said, right now it's just the clones we're working on. So the clone trooper armor will be coming in February, guys. And then also on top of that, we will be getting the lightsaber combat update as well in February. So Ben said, lightsaber combat, looking at February. And then force power changes are coming as well in January. So they're going to be updating and fixing uh, some of the force power issues that you may have had with some of the uh, heroes in the game. So that's good news as well. So there's all of the updates for you guys. So we're expecting again armored clone officers to release in February. So I'm definitely excited about that. And honestly, I don't play a lot with the officer class, but I've been playing more and more with the officer class because a lot of you say in the streams, like you should try out the officer. It's He's awesome. So I've been playing a lot more with the officer and I'm definitely very excited for the armored officers in February. But honestly, guys, the biggest update that I'm looking forward to most is that new large scale game mode. So don't forget to post in the comments what would you call the new large scale game mode? What are your hopes for the new large scale game mode? Now, I made a video uh, a little bit ago, you know, kind of specifying what features from the Battlefield series I want to see make it into Battlefront 2. And one of the biggest features to me that really makes a conquest mode conquest is the ability to actually spawn on the command post. Um, now, this is something that Battlefield has had for a while, and also keep in mind the original Battlefront series also have this, which is why I really want the ability to spawn on a command post. So what is a must-have feature that you absolutely have to have in the new large-scale game mode? Post it in the comments. What can you not live without uh, for this new large-scale game mode? Another thing that I really want to see is the ability to fly up to the capital ships in real time because we already know that we'll be able to go into the interior space of these ships, but we're not sure if it will be kind of like in phases like Galactic Assault, and uh, we'll see what happens with that. But I'm hoping that you can board them in real time and actually fly up into them and, you know, just get out of your ship and then walk around. So we'll see if that happens. But uh, regardless, guys, let me know what you want to see for the new large-scale game mode. And keep it right here at the Star Wars headquarters. Don't forget to subscribe to us and follow us for more news on Battlefront 2. There's a lot of stuff coming up. So... Keep it right here. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you, always.